Jack. An object came down in 1-7. Got it. On my way. 60 years ago, Earth was attacked. We won the war, but they destroyed half the planet. Everyone's been evacuated. Nothing human remains. Our job is security and drone maintenance. We're the mop-up crew. Two more weeks, Jack, and we can leave and join the others. Doesn't seem right. We won the war. Now we have to leave. Uh, so l last night at the premiere, I was noticing you and Tom together. I feel like there's like a new kind of bromance going on between you and Mr. Cruz. You guys seem like really tight. Well, uh, we sort of belong to a mutual admiration society for many years. And finally we get the opportunity to work together. He likes me, I like him, he likes what I do, I like what he does, so yeah, it's one of those marriages made in heaven, uh, but uh, late blooming. What does this film say about the human condition, would you say? It says it's irrepressible. The human condition is irrepressible. You can knock us down, you can knock us out. I think this movie actually is full of messages and themes, huh? and uh, it's um, it could be seen as political also. And it's 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 I mean it's about taking over uh, over someone's place, and um, and uh, I think it, it explores a lot of uh, questions like what is it to be human, um, what uh, should we believe everything we're told. Um, or should we uh, discover everything by ourselves and think a bit with our own um, head? Um, and uh, I yeah. feel like you want to say something. No, I, 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 I agree. I think that that's all true. I think it, it, it does explore what it is to be human, which is such a vast and endless question. Uh, but the film is vast and epic. I mean, if you just look at the landscape that Joe Kaczynski's created, we look at a world in 2077 where, though it's apocalyptic, nature has reconsumed monuments that we're so familiar with, and it's breathtaking to see. I think, I think it makes you question also, perhaps, why we don't take a step back and realize what we, what we do already have existing on our planet, because we filmed this film almost entirely without green screen. So we used everything there is on the earth and our incredible design team planted parts of monuments that we know in our civilization today in the earth that already exists. And that's how we made the movie. It wasn't that we created a world entirely on computer. Joe used something in tangible. This is Mission Control. How y'all doing this morning? Don't take any chances. It's dangerous down there. I've been watching you, Jack. Who are you? The people you work for lied to you. They told you to follow orders. And soon you would join the others. It's time you know the truth. Jack, how do you know my name? Could I trust you to teach us how to fly the bubble ship? I'm a, I'm a, look, I'm a great driver um, of bubble ship and uh, motorcycle and cars. I'll give you such a, such a ride, you'll be terrified. <laughs> but hey, it's fun. <laughs> At least you'll get some emotions. You Olga won't fall asleep, that's for sure. She likes to have her hands sure. on the wheel. She yeah. likes to do it herself. Why not? Life is short. That's the thing. <laughs> Rather than have somebody else drive Especially you, Especially right? if you drive with me. <laughs> yeah. So you would, you would trust her? Would I trust Olga? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See? Yeah. That's okay. what I call, you see? She couldn't trust me because I can't drive. Ah! We see, after all these years so we of knowing a, each other. If we were in an apocaly uh, ap I just learned apocalyptic that. situation, Olga would be the one at the wheel. I'd be clinging on to you. She would have life. no choice. The thing is, <laughs> no choice. You know, the, the future in this world is very bleak and this, all these things now going on with North Korea, very timely. What do you make of kind of, you know, the timeliness of this? and? It's just, you know, it's one of those things. It just, ideas float out of someone's head and uh, meanwhile, real life is going on someplace else and the two 
seemed to come to the movie um, o Olympus Has Fallen. It, just, it was fantasy. It had nothing to do with anything other than but now just North Korea is acting foolish. So... Should should we be worried? Is it a scary time we live in now, do you think? And we always live in scary times. We've been living in scary times since 1944 when we dropped the first atomic bomb. And you know, we dropped it. We didn't drop it on anybody until 45, but we had it. And that's when the world got really scary. Now, I was reading somewhere that you said at this stage in, in your career, you feel like the elder statesman. Uh, what do you make of Hollywood today versus when you first were coming up? Well, um, Hollywood, uh, the arts, I'm going, to, I'm going to put, I'm going to just put Hollywood in, in, in that mix. Uh, sort of like a, a social leader. Uh, Hollywood is mirroring the real world, and as a result of that, the real world is mirroring Hollywood. So it's this, this feedback going on, back and forth. You know, if you look at if you look at uh, you look at your television, you see everybody represented, everybody in the country. This is not white world anymore. Uh, when people see that, uh, they're encouraged to mimic that. So I'm hiring. Uh, I'm looking for who's going to do the best job. I'm not now looking at who looks like what. It's. Uh, and wrapping it up, I know you're producing a show about the race to space. Yeah. Uh, so for you, would you want to go? And do you believe in life out there? No, I don't believe that there is life out there until we put it out there. Uh, I mean, intelligent life. Uh, there is uh, scientific uh, theory, totally plausible, that life came here from someplace else. And if an, enough of the right ingredients got here and in the right situation, you know, it's like putting ingredients in a pot, getting the temperature right, you're going to create something. Uh, there is a lot of feeling that that's what happened on planet Earth, that life came from somewhere, um, possibly Mars. Because every time a planet gets hit by a meteor or something, stuff flies off of it and it starts moving around in space. A lot of it lands here. So who knows is the question. But I don't think there is intelligent life anywhere near us, and at least not close enough to come and visit. Are you going to get on one of those rockets and go? No, I am not. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Finally, would you two want to go to space? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we're, that's how planning, we differ. I'm planning on a trip. Now, Olga doesn't like roller coasters. No. It's a big I'll, issue. I'll, I'll, I'll so, go into space in a sleeping pod. But she's happy in the that. pod. She loved the pod. She yeah. loved a pod. Yeah, you can, you can uh, pilot. Well, yeah. just like in the movie, actually, we really, we really fit our parts. Interestingly, <laughs> I did, I did learn to fly a plane uh, when we were making this movie, in preparation okay. for the movie, uh, because that's part of my character's job. Mm -hmm. um, did so you actually so I manage to drive take off? a uh, you know, a car, but I, can't, but I can't. Oh yeah, I, d I flew, I flew the plane. What? I'm, th I'm thinking of maybe going, this is a conversation between Whoa. us for later, but yeah, we're <laughs> I'm like, thinking well, of maybe well. going and getting Thank my you. license wow, at one that's stage. Amazing. If I could, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, uh, but I, I would love to go to space. We're planning a trip quite soon. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> we we'll say it's a joke. I actually, I, I don't think I'll go to Some space. monkeys. Um, you know, I and love Earth. we're all going to go on a commercial space As Julia flight. does, I, I, I'll you be very it. happy to stay on the ground. I'll send you a postcard. <laughs> Okay, please do. There are people down there. There are things you need to know. I don't want to know! You're still an effective team. We are not an effective team. They're firing on survivors. Stand down! This is insubordinate behavior. Why aren't you telling me? Who are you? Us and this. You don't have to die. 
They don't have to die. It's time to come home. I'm not gonna do that. Earth is my home.